Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the best five cleaning products according to our customers. Now, some people love cleaning their bike and they think of it as a crucial part of the whole bike ownership experience, but others absolutely detest it and they see it as a chore that just needs to be done to keep their bike on the road. Whichever side of that you come down on, a good cleaning product always improves the experience. We've pulled together this list of five cleaners based on the feedback from hundreds of customer reviews on Sports Bike Shop, but we've not stopped there. We tried each of these five cleaners in a big bike washing session here at the Sports Bike Shop warehouse, so hopefully we can show you as well as explain to you the differences between each of them. For many people, S100 Total Cleaner is the king of bike cleaners. It's the thickest solution of the five in this video, and this one's a gel cleaner. That means it clings to the bike better, and it can really get hold of the grime. The instructions for this stuff say it's a spray on wash off solution, but I've used it for about 15 years, and I feel you get the best results by agitating it first rather than just spraying it off. Now we use this stuff to clean a really grubby workhorse of a Honda CBF 1000, which had gone about 900 winter miles since it was last cleaned. This really got underneath all the dirt, including the chain lube residue on the back wheel, and it brought that bike back to a decent appearance. There's a downside to the thickness of this solution though, which is that it takes a bit more of it to cover a bike. So I was probably a bit heavy handed with the sprayer, but it took more than half of a bottle to clean our CBF. You can see here how much was left afterwards, although that bike really was filthy. Customers are full of praise for the way S100 cleans, but they're not so pleased that it costs so much. As we make this, the supply of special anniversary one litre bottles is running out. So soon it's gonna be 15 pounds 90 for a 750 ml bottle, which works out at about 21 pounds a litre. It's better to buy a five litre refill bottle, which brings the price below 14 pounds a litre. And you can also buy a misting nozzle, which sprays it on a little bit thinner than the squirty nozzle on the standard bottle. For me, I love this cleaner, but I save it for when I'm dealing with a really filthy bike and I have something a bit thinner and a bit cheaper on hand for those regular cleans afterwards. The idea with these Vulcanet wipes is that you don't need a hose, you don't need a bucket, you don't need a sponge, you don't even need water. Everything you do need to clean your bike is in this tub. There are 80 wipes in this main section that are impregnated with a solution that will lift the grime and bugs off your bike. And then you wipe off the residue with this large microfiber cloth that's stored in the lid of the tub. Once you've done that, you've got a nice shiny bike. Of the 24 customers who've reviewed these, one gave a four star review and all of the others gave five stars. Now, most people admit they were a bit skeptical about these at first, but all of them say the wipes won them over. And it seems two or three wipes is enough to clean a whole bike. I cleaned my Yamaha Phaser with these a few weeks ago when we were out on a video shoot. The bike had got really filthy when I had to ride it through some horribly dirty flood water. I got through more than three wipes on that day because the bike was so dirty. So I'd say these are best suited to regular cleanups rather than tackling a bike when it's absolutely hanging. And some of the customer reviews suggested the same. They suggest using a hose pipe to clean it off at first and then you use these to stay on top of the cleaning. It's 35 pounds as we record this for this tub of 80 wipes. So if it takes two or three each time to clean a bike, you should get at least 27 cleans from this tub and that works out at about one pound 30 per clean, which is actually pretty good value. This Motul cleaner is the thinnest solution of the five cleaners in this video, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. This stuff runs into the smallest of gaps, and it means you get quite a bit of coverage without using loads of it. It's very popular with people who've bought it. They say it's really simple to use. Some of them say they can just spray it on and then rinse it off and get a good clean bike, but most prefer, like me, to give it a bit of a rub down in between. The fact it leaves a streak-free finish is also really popular. We found both of those things to be the case when we cleaned my phaser with it. It was easy to get it into all the right places and after a quick rinse and dry off, the bike was looking shiny again. It also seemed to be particularly good at lifting oily residue. There was a bit of oil lurking around my phaser's filler cap after I topped it up a few months ago and the Motul cleaner got around there and drew that oil out. Now, that wasn't the first time I've cleaned my bike since that oil top up, so this has got rid of something that other bike cleaners haven't. The finish afterwards was also very good. There was no residue left behind and it also gave a very clean smell. That smell is also something that comes through from the customer reviews. It's not trying to smell of rhubarb and lime or anything daft like that, but it does just leave your bike smelling clean. At 11 quid for a litre, it's not crazy dear, and it's had 18 five-star reviews out of a total of 21 reviews on Sports Bike Shop. 
Now this is Silkaline's cleaner and it goes quite foamy when you spray it on the bike, which gives a good feeling that it's really getting to grips with the dirt. This stuff's been popular with customers over the years and I suspect the formulation's changed a bit in that time as I've used this in the past and I don't remember it foaming up like it did when I cleaned a Yamaha MT-07 with it for this video. That wasn't the grubbiest of the bikes we cleaned, but this cleaner got rid of all the crud that was there, including some chain lube residue on the back wheel rim. It's sold as a spray on rinse off cleaner, but I always feel the bike will end up cleaner afterwards for a good scrub. Getting stuck in with a cleaning mitt and then rinsing it off with a hose left our MT07 looking very shiny. Some of the customer reviewers say this one leaves a residue if you don't rinse it thoroughly. So I guess I must have rinsed that MT07 really thoroughly as I didn't detect any residue left behind after I'd cleaned it. I didn't need to use loads either. You can see that from this bottle and at around eight quid for a litre, it's one of the cheaper cleaners here. It's also available in five litre refill bottles, but that only saves you about 40p per litre. So the main appeal to buying those bigger bottles really is saving on wasted plastic. This is probably the only cleaner here where no one needs to tell you what it is. The pink solution inside this bottle says it all really, it's muck off. If this wasn't the very first spray on wash off cleaner on the market, then it was in there right at the early days of this stuff. It started out in mountain biking and it came over to motorcycle in the year 2000. It's become an absolutely massive name since then and it does all sorts of other stuff, not just cleaners. Customers who've left a review for this are generally very pleased, though quite a few agree with me and say spraying it on and rinsing it off afterwards isn't enough on its own. It takes a brush, a sponge, a mitt or a cloth to get the best from it, especially if your bike is pretty grubby. Quite a few of those people also say it takes a fair bit of rinsing afterwards to make sure all trace of the muck off has gone. We used this to clean a Yamaha XT660X and it foamed up quite nicely, going to work on the dirt, so a scrub afterwards got the bike really nice and clean. It took a good wipe to polish away any streaking, but the finish was really good. Okay, so those are the top five cleaning products around according to our customers. Having used them all myself on the same day, I'd have a bottle of S100, for special occasion cleans when my bike's got a bit too grubby really, then I reckon a bottle of the Silkaline wash off is a good bet for those regular cleans when you're just staying on top of that cleaning. I hope you found this video useful, but if you have anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.